hello students welcome to my next video welcome to all my next video on the topic transportation problem last lecture was on the transportation problem that is a general introduction where we have uh, seen what is the mathematical model of the transportation problem what is the balanced transportation problem okay what is the unbalanced transportation problem and how we convert the unbalanced transportation problem into the balanced transportation problem now in this lecture we will continue from the last lecture and try to find the solution of the transportation problem that is the northwest corner and the least cost method now i just recall the last lecture very briefly so in, uh, up to the uh, up to the last lecture what we have studied is uh, we have to convert the unbalanced problem firstly into the balanced transportation problem and once you have to convert unbalanced to the balanced either by using the dummy row or the dummy column then that transportation problem as always always a feasible solution okay and if such feasible solutions are exist then how many are there that is m plus n minus 1 where m is my number of the sources okay or somebody number of the rows you can say simply here n is called as the number of destinations okay or you can say number of the columns okay and minus 1 is the are there so if all are the positive variables that's the maximum solution at this at most so that is the maximum number of the solutions are there so if all the such variables if such variables are less than of the m plus n minus 1 means at least one of the variable is zero okay so remember that so whenever you are trying to solve the uh, simplex method and uh you will uh, whenever you try to solve the simplex method and after solving you will get this one say for example okay here is 0 here is say 4 some values are there okay here x1 and so on so what is the meaning of it so it means it, 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 firstly this zj minus cj is greater than 0 all so it means this is the optimal solution but what kind of the optimal solution is there since it is a 0 so it means this called is the degenerate solution so again think for here okay so same concept we have used in a transportation problem means if we need a n m plus n minus 1 variable so these are my m plus n minus 1 variables if out of these m plus n minus 1 variable at least okay at least one of the variable is zero any one at least one of the variable is zero it means all such variables if such variables are less than of the m plus n so if at least one of the variable is zero then we call as So, uh, then we call as the degenerate bfs and if there is no no variable is zero it means such variables are exactly this is exactly okay then we call as the non degenerate okay also i just finish my last lecture here that is there are the three method but we we are not discuss uh, in my last lectures okay so right now we are discussing uh, the method 1 and the method 2 i am not discussing the method 3 here let let's check that if if uh, if we have the time then i can also discuss the method third uh, in this um, like in this video otherwise we can continue on the third lecture okay so i just firstly explained what is the northwest corner method so remember this the name north west okay it's a very one of the simplest method in the transportation problem or believe me okay so for example how to solve this transportation problem so find the initial basic feasible solution okay remember i just recall again whenever you are trying to solve the simplex method any lpp with the simplex method you always start with the s1 s2 and something are there okay so these are called as the initial bfs okay so if you remember your uh, simplex method lecture are there so this is the initial bfs so same thing for here so we are trying to find the initial basic feasible solution whether this is optimal or not that is not our task right now okay so what is that so you you have the transportation problem okay there are some warehouse factories are there w1 w2 w3 and there are some factory capacities are there these are the houses and some so on so first what is the step 1 always be what any kind of the transportation problem firstly you have to check whether the problem is the balanced or unbalanced be okay so how you check the balance or unbalanced you can add them this and add them this way and check what's the sum is that so look at that this is 
8 or 5 13 13 plus 7 20 20 plus is my 34 thing okay and similarly look at that this this is 9 plus 7 16 16 6 so all are same thing. so it means it means this problem is my balance transportation problem now if once it is balanced then we can try to, to find the initial uh, basic feasible solution using the north west corner method so what is the north one? because th this is the matrix so this is the north one that is one one this is my northwest corner method okay so you have what is the meaning the maximum supply given by f1 is five units okay and the maximum demand given by w1 is seven so what is the requirement for this so that is a max that is a minimum of five and seven so that is five okay so how i design this this is nothing but minimum of five and seven okay five because f1 have a maximum five units w1 demanded seven so that is only condition which fulfill is that that is a five so it means five is allocated seven is allocated and the remaining here is two this is zero okay so if it is zero you can remove this line okay or uh, uh, don't be removed just think about that this line is uh, is finished because this line is zero so there is no supply for them now in the second row what is what is the uh, what is the now for the second one uh, in the second row what will we do is now look at the, this is the northwest corner now try to find the again this value now the remaining is 2 and this is 8 so take the minimum of 2 and 8 that is my 2 so now this is 2 and 8 so now its the remaining is 6 so this is over so it means column 1 is over now look at this and second this one that is 9 and 6 okay so the minimum of 9 and 6 is my 6 and the remaining is here 3 okay so this is over so now this line is gone now look at the third third row so since there is no demand uh, no demand is there so this is over now look at this one so here minimum of 3 and 7 so that is my 3 okay so now this is my 4 now look at that now this column is gone now next one is here so this one is 4 and 18 what is the meaning of 4 and 18 is f3 has a 4 unit left while w3 has demanded 18 so what is the requirement that fulfill this w3 that is minimum among 4 and 18 so that is nothing but the 14 okay so now this is over now look at the other one so here 14 and 14 since this is the last step okay so always remember then whenever you are trying to whenever you reach the last step always be both are cancel out okay if it is come to be for example here as 13 b and you cut out 13 so one is left it means slightly mistake in your calculation side are there okay so now this is the process because the last is over so this is becomes the optimal solution okay so how many cells are there this is one this is two this is three four five six so look at that now you have to check whether this is a degenerate or non degenerate so what is the m is number of the rows how many rows are there four how many columns are there three four minus one six it means there is a need of the six allocations so look at that this is number one two three four five six it means this is my non-degenerate that is that's we actually want that this is the non-degenerate bfs that is we actually want that and what is the optimal cost is that is 2 multiply 5 okay plus second cost is 2 multiply 3 that is a transportation cost plus 6 multiply 3 okay plus 3 multiply 5 okay plus 4 multiply 4 and the last one is 14 into 2 so whatever you get is the right answer so this is my transportation cost okay and what is this 5 represents that remember my last lecture this all 274 are my cij that is the cost and you need to task to find the allocation so these are my xijs so what is the value of this this is the first row first column so this means x11 is my 5 okay look at that this so x11 is my 5 x21 is 2 look at x21 second row first column x21 is 2 this number 6 means 2 comma 2 so x22 is 6 next and so on and this is a basic also because this is only the feasible solution and when the 
feasible solution becomes basic when it satisfies these conditions m plus n minus 1 that is a 6 are there so here 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 are there and the transportation cost is when you multiply them you will get the 102 either rupees dollar is the units are there. okay still unclear don't worry so let's look at the next example one more example for you again so find the initial basic feasible solution by the northwest corner method okay so let's start with that so first corner is this okay 200 a has availability 250 but d1 has the requirement 200 so definitely uh, this cell demands 200 okay so minimum of 250 and 200 is 200 so it's remaining is 50 b so now this is over so look at for the second one always moving on the row side row wise b okay so now the second one is a has the 50 units left d2 has 225 units demanded so here number is my minimum of remaining 50 and two, 225 so it is over so this is my remaining 175 now this row is over because there is no uh, availability for the product a look at for the second one here is there is no product so there is no units so look at for here b so this is 175 and 300 oh sorry firstly you have to check whether it's a balance or unbalanced b oh we forget that so this is firstly this is 7 is 950 so it is uh, 950 is here so again uh, and for this this is 200 225 this 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 and again it's 950 so it's a balanced one so there is no problem okay so i am here so it's 175 is a 300 so it is minimum is 175 and the remaining is 125 okay and the next one is uh, this number is 275 and remaining is uh, here is nothing is there so this is 125 is here okay so this is 150 so now there is no uh, there is no availability for the product b so look at for the next one there is no this is no so look at this this is 150 and 400 b so this is my remaining is 250 if we look at minimum 150 and the last is both are same so it means there is no error in your calculation b okay so what is in this particular problem what is m plus n minus 1 is so there are the three rows there are the four columns minus 1 that is 6 so it means there is a six there is uh, at most six allocations are there so that is one two three four five six so it means six allocations are there so this this solution this solution means x11 is my 200 x12 is 50 x22 is 175 and so on is my basic feasible solution is my basic also okay remember this is only for the feasible we are not guarantee about the optimality okay we still not check the optimality that is we have to check zj minus cj also okay so look at that x11 is 200 x11 is 200 x12 is 50 x12 is 50 x23 is 125 x23 is 125 and so on okay so and it's also be there so the optimal cost is 12200 okay let's more one let's do one more example that is unbalanced transportation problem okay so determine the feasible solution of the transportation problem so firstly check whether it's a balanced or unbalanced one so look at that this is 90 90 and 160 okay this is 55 this 90 this is 130 so clearly it is not be equal so it means this is the unbalanced problem so you have to firstly convert unbalanced to the balanced one so how you convert that this uh, row sum this uh, this uh, w1 w is sum is 130 and here is 160 it means there is a need of adding one column extra whose sum will be 30 so that it becomes the 160 so there is a need of adding this but what about the cost are there okay if you remember the last lecture what is the cost of the dummy variable is yes it's a zero okay so you have to convert firstly the un, uh, firstly the unbalanced transportation problem into the balanced transportation problem and then finding this row look at that 0 0 0 and the cost is 60 now it's becomes the 160 both sides now apply the northwest corner method start from here what is the minimum of 30 and 50 is 30 so it's the remaining is 20 here so remaining is 30 okay 
so now look at the uh, this is over now look at for the second one this is minimum of 20 and 25 so it is my 20 so this is over remaining here is 5 units so this row is over now look at for the second is this that is 5 and 40 so its minimum is 5 always remember minimum of the supply and minimum among the minimum of supply and demand is there. so 5 and 40 is 5 so column is over so look at this one is 35 35 both are cancel out so there is no because this is not the last step it may or may not be there so this is 35 okay so now this is over this is over now look at the next value so 70 40 is a 0 it's my 30 so okay so it's my 40 next is now this is the last case so it must cancel out both be okay in between them there is no worry about that so now what is m plus n minus 1 now you have to solve this problem so you have to calculate m and n on this instead of taking m as a 3 here n as a 4 here because you are not solving this uh, this transportation problem you have to solve this balance transportation problem so what is m is 3 what is n is my 5 minus 1 so it means 4 plus 3 is 7 so 7 allocations there then it's called as the uh, non degenerate otherwise called as the degenerate so how many cells are there we look at that so that is a 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 cells are there so uh, 1 are missing it means this problem is called as the degenerate bfs okay so what are the optimal solution is x11 is my 30 okay x12 is there x21 and so on okay so look at 1 2 3 4 5 6 and which is called as the non degenerate bfs why because allocations are 6 but we need a 7 and if you multiply them what is the cost is 30 multiply 11 20 multiply 20 5 multiply 16 35 multiply 10 this and this okay so you will get 1520 so this is the method of the northwest corner method so i hope these three examples will help you uh, to implement the northwest corner method okay let's quickly move on the uh, method second that is the least cost method okay that is the lcm it's not the LCM HCF is there. This is the L for the least cost method. It is also called as the matrix minima method. Okay. So I uh, consider the previous three examples here and then try to implement the LCM method on these examples. So I just revisit the example one. So this is my example one here. Okay. If you go back to the previous slides, so you can find this same example. So, and this is my balance transportation problem 34 and 34 on both sides. Now instead of solving this transportation problem by the northwest method you have to solve this problem by the lca method that is the least cost method so again the rules are similar okay the only difference is you have to apply the definition that is the least cost method so among these l these are the costs okay among these costs what is the minimum cost so minimum cost is one and one both are same okay so remember, uh, cost minimum, we always want to minimize the cost and these are my allocations fee and you have to use the allocation maximum fee. Okay, what is the meaning of it is? So if I use this here, what is the value is 8 and 18, that is 8. Okay, if I use this, so it value is 8 among this. But if I use here, what is the value is that is my 7b so what is the value maximum is 8 so you should start from here instead of this 7 okay so i just rub it and then again explain you what is the meaning of it is that is cost minimum allocation maximum that is the meaning of it cost minimum allocation maximum so cost minimum is 1 okay and here allocation if I just use this one instead of this, so allocation here is 8 and here is 7. So since allocation maximum is here, so this is 8. Okay. Now remaining is 10 here. Now find the next smallest number. Now remember, this is no uh, no uh, factory capacity. So it means this row is cancelled. So what is, what is the next number smallest is? Now this turn is there. 
7 and 14 is 7. Remaining is again 7. What is the second small next smallest number is 2. Okay. So now it's a 10 left. Here is 7 left. Okay? So this minimum is 7. Remaining 3. What is the next smallest is 3. But sorry, this 2. Okay? okay, but there is no need of that because there is no warehouse requirement already complete them so leave that what is the next one is three again there is no requirement okay or moreover there is no factory capacity is there next number is again three again there is no need although there is a nine is there but there is no number so skip them next smallest number is this four okay so the five and three so minimum is three here is two next number is here two okay so, but sorry, this is not because this already are over. So there is no need of this. Okay. So what is the next one is five. Okay. Any number? No, it's a five. So what is that? This is seven and this is nine. So here is my seven. So remaining two left. So what is the next one is six, but there is no capacity. Okay. There is no factory capacity. So next one is seven. Look at that. This is the last number. This is 2 and 2. Both are cancelled out. It means there is no error in your calculation. So look at that. There is no warehouse requirement. There is no factory capacity left out there. Okay. So again, rest rules are same. You have to need to check what is the n plus n minus 1. Then only you can call as this is the basic solution. What is the n is 4? What is the n is 3? 4 minus 1, 3. That is 6. So look at that. This is 1. This is 2, 3, 4. 5 6 okay so it means this is the basic vfs basic feasible solutions and this is my code as x12 here is my x13 this is my 23 and so on and how you calculate the optimal cost is oh sorry not the optimal is the feasible cost is 2 multiply 7 3 multiply 4 8 multiply 1 and so on okay so look at that these are my uh, feasible solutions now since it is a basic because the m plus n is 6 and the transportation cost is 83 okay now i just revisited the example one okay so what is that what is the example one is my this same example one is and what is the optimal cost is uh, uh, sorry it's feasible cost is 102 by using the northwest corner method while if i solve this problem by using the least cost method, I got the 83. So this cost is less than the cost associated with the Northwest Corner method. Okay. So the first remark is there. Remember, this is so important. The initial BFS obtained by this LCA method usually, I'm not said that this is always, it's a usually give the lower cost than the Northwest. It's usually give the lowest cost as, as the case is this example one but i'm not asking that this is always be okay so look at the next example one more example this is again the same example of the same previous example two so again this is the balance one we already checked that this is 915 both cases are there so now you can apply the least cost method what is the minimum what is the smallest number is there now there are the two same numbers are there so if you apply here the value will be 250 if you apply here, the value is again 250. So you can choose any one of them. Okay. So if I use this as my 250, this is cancel out. The remaining is 50. Okay. Next smallest number is 10, but there is no requirement. So it is over. Next smallest number is 11. What is that now? It is a 250. It's a 200. So minimum is my 200. The remaining 50 availability is there. Next one is it's 11 then it's a 13 okay now it's a 50 and 225 so minimum is 50 remaining is 175 next smallest number is here okay oh sorry you again check both are there so apply one by one so here is this is my 275 okay so remaining is 125 here next one is 14 okay but there is no a requirement is here so it's over next one is my 17 again there is again this is 14 so again there is no requirement is over 17 there is again no requirement is over now 21 but there is no requirement here okay and the remaining one is 24 only 
here but it is not be true okay so it means there is something uh, miscalculated that so, uh, because this is the last and it no, sorry it's 50 is also be there so yeah its smallest number is 18 so it's a 50 it's 125 okay and the last one is that 24 this and this will be cancel out okay now again you can calculate m plus n minus 1 that is 3 plus 4 minus 1 that is a 6 okay so now you have to calculate whether the six equations are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 so it means these basic solutions are also called as the uh, uh, basic feasible solutions so what is the cost is this into this this into this and so on okay so this at x11 is 200 x21 is 50 look at that x21 11 is 200 this is 50 and then so on so on so on so you will get and basic look at that the cost is this by the lcm 1 to 12825 check what's the cost of the northwest corner method this is my example two same example i just consider here and look at that the cost is 12200 which is less than the least cost method cost it's 12200 okay so look at that 12200 by the northwest corner method b while for the least cost is 1200 12825 so this is not less so that's why i am asking that this is usually but not always be okay okay so let's again consider the revisit the example third which is unbalanced transportation problem okay so you have to add this dummy column and so that it becomes the balanced one now start with the least cost method so since the minimum element is this 0 0 0 so you start with the, if you start from here the minimum will be 30 again here is 30 here is again 30 so you can start with any one of them so if i start from here the minimum is 30 remaining 40 left next smallest number is again zero but there is no requirement warehouse requirement is there so it's over next smallest number is my this seven i think yes so it's 50 35 is 35 remaining is 15 next smallest number is eight this and this both so if you start from here this is my 15 okay if you start from here this number is 30 so always remember minimum cost and maximum allocation speed okay so that your objective function cij xij will be minimized so i just start from here in the next case we i just consider it so minimum is 30 okay so remaining is 10 now consider here this is 15 and 14 40 so it's minimum is 50 remaining is 25 okay what is the next one is 889 okay so it's 10 and 25 minimum is 10 remaining is 15 okay it's over now this is 10 but there is no requirements over it's 11 there is no requirement okay 11 is over now it said two 12s are there okay so if you start from here but there is no requirement there is no capacity so it's over so only one is left b so it's a 40 and 15 b so 40 and 15 so i allocate the 15 values here then 25 is left behind me okay so 12 then look at the next smallest number is 16 so 25 is 25 okay so check whether there is any requirement pending no whether there is any question no it's over okay so check whether what is m plus n minus 1 is 3 plus 5 minus 1 that is my 7 okay and check whether this is 7 are there that is 1 this is 2 this is 3 4 5 6 7 oh very good so it means check the northwest corner method and i try to solve this problem with the northwest corner we get the non-degenerate solution b okay because in that case allocations are my 6 i just obtained the 6 allocations are there look at quickly this okay there are the six allocations are there okay so 
So these are my allocations and these are now it's a basic are it's, it's not be a, a degenerate no degenerate set now basic and you, you can easily calculate the transportation cost but so I just again remember how to calculate transportation cost multiply this by this this by this okay this and so on okay so what you got from this okay northwest corner method may give the degenerate solution okay in this particular example while the LCA method in this particular example gives a non degenerate so that is a basic complete basic solution but this is again usually it's not be always that no uh, least cost method can never give the non degenerate so it's uh, it's a it's a one particular example is there but what will happen how to resolve the degenerates in that transportation problem okay so it means if if you solve this problem by northwest again so you will get the degenerate so how to resolve that so i just try to quickly solve this again by the northwest corner method and then tell you how you can resolve the degeneracy so this is 30 this is 20 okay this is my 30 so next one is this this is 20 minimum remaining 5 okay now this is over so next number is here this number is my 5 and this is my 5 this is my 35 okay now next one is this is over now look at here okay now since both are cancel out before reaching the final step remember that both are cancel out at the same time okay remember both if i just cancel out 35 35 both are cancel out but still there are the 70 and here the 40 30 allocations are pending so that's why there is a non degenerate that's why there are less than of the m plus and minus one allocations are there so how to resolve them okay so you, that's true you have to allocate 35 here instead of cutting both at the same time you have to cut them and put at one zero either on this side or on this side zero means that's a nothing zero either instead of here you can also put zero here but only on the one side okay so now for the next one this is over so leave out now for here okay now this allocation this is zero and 70 so minimum allocation is zero now it cancel out p it's remain again 70 is there okay now for the next one is is 40 and 70 so the minimum is again 40 okay remaining is 30 now it's a cancel out now since it is a final step so there is no need to add the zero here okay so again see that what is m plus n minus 1 that is 3 plus 5 minus 1 okay that is a 7 now calculate that this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 4 5 6 7 now it's a basic okay so remember it's a zero so there is no increase or decrease in the cost value because when you multiply this this becomes a zero okay so what is that this is x11 is my 30 x12 is my 20 okay this number is my x22 is my 5 x23 is my 35 okay this number is my x33 is my 0 x34 is my 40 and finally x35 is my 30 so since this is m plus and minus 1 so it is my initial bfs okay it may or may not be the optimal one that's the condition we will check that whether zj minus cj is greater than 0 or not okay so uh, these are some practice problem for you I am not considered the Vogel approximation method here, otherwise the video is uh, too long and it's quite boring. Okay, so in, in order to avoid this, I just stop here and then try to give you some examples. So find the initial BFS solutions by using still, so far we have used, we have studied the Northwest Corner method and the least cost method. So you have to try to solve this problem with the Northwest and the least cost. And then when we study the Vogel approximation method, we again try to solve this problem with the Vogel approximation method. So these four questions are for you. Similarly, say look at one more problem. A company manufacturing the air coolers has the two plants. Remember that I have considered the similar example when I just start my uh, previous lecture on the transportation problem introduction, whose description is already given in this, uh, whose link is already given in this description. That's the same example I just considered that okay so there are the two stations mumbai and kolkata okay and they are manufacturing the air coolers fee and they are distributing towards the ranchi delhi lucknow and kanpur and so on so determine the initial basic feasible solution 
what is the total allocation are there remember the mumbai has the capacity of 200 ki this has the capacity of 100 ki okay so firstly you have to check whether this is a balanced or unbalanced last example a company has facilities at city a b and c so this is my city a this is my city b and c which supply the warehouses at the city d this is e and this is f the monthly requirement the monthly factory capacities are so these are my capacities are there 50 100 and 120 while the monthly requirements are this 100 130 the shipping cost is given to be here so firstly formulate the lpp so the best way is that you firstly write in terms of the matrix format okay d e f okay. so what is the transportation cost when any product transfer from a to d a to d what is the cost is two so here is two what is the transportation cost when you transfer from a to e a to e that is my one similarly what is the cost from a to f that is nothing by four okay similarly for the b it will be three one two and for the c is this what is the value of the what is the monthly factory monthly factory capacity are there that is 50 that is 150 and this is 200 and this is the requirement of the uh, uh, monthly requirement is my 100 this is 130 this is 200 so the first part how what is the formulation is that is on the previous base lecture is that is minimization of z is 2 the number of the allocations are x11 okay 1 x12 okay firstly you have to check whether it's a balance or not okay so it's 4 x13 plus 3 x21 and so on so this is the first part so is the initial solution degenerate okay so degenerate means we have to solve this problem by uh, by uh, northwest or the least cost so when it becomes the degenerate if the values are m plus n minus 1 so what is the 3 plus 3 okay 6 minus 1 5 so if you calculate the values here okay values here and so on and if it is less than of the 5 then it's the degenerate okay then next part is if it exists right so you can write it and why okay so why it is there because i just explained the previous if it is cut at the initial phases on both sides so you can put zero here in order to avoid the degeneracy otherwise give reason for the absence and the third part is if the penalties per unit cost for the unsatisfied demand unsatisfied demand means there is a look at that whether this is a balance or unbalanced so two three is a four is a 400 from this side and this is my look at that uh, is my 430 so it's not be equal so it means this is the unbalanced transportation problem so if it is unbalanced so what will we do here is 430 here is 400 so you have to add here okay so it's a 50 it's a 150 it's a 200 so here is 30 so that it becomes the 430 so it's one 100 then it's 130 it's a 200 so what is that the cost is zero this is my previous values okay 427 now look at that instead of writing here 000 what is that the penalties per unit cost is given to be 521 so here it is given that instead of taking the zero cost the penalty are assigned is 521 to the cities d e and f okay now instead of taking 0 0 0 it is mentioned in the problem that it's a 5 to 1 now this is there now, then after that you can try to solve the problem okay that is firstly you have to compute the c part and then you have to implement for the b okay so i hope you may able to understand the method one that is the least cost method uh, method one is the northwest corner method and second is the least cost method try to implement to solve the various examples are there so the next lecture will be on the method third that is the vogel approximation method i am not considering here because it's the video is already so lengthy so otherwise the student may get bored okay by considering these three methods at the same time so you can try to solve the previous problems with the help of the northwest and the vogel uh, and the least cost method and try to compare their solutions so the next video 
will be on my Vogel approximation method. That is one of the most important in the transportation problem. Okay, so I hope you may be able to understand this lecture also. Thank you very much and best of luck for the students.